Hey everyone, so I just, I wanted to create a video, I know I had already touched on it in the past, but it's more or less, I really think that even though God is my source and he has come through, you know, what we really conquer when we desire really to follow God is the cultural patterns we're used to. And you're probably wondering what I mean. Well, in this world, we're ingrained as men to be the main breadwinners, to become financially successful, to, you know, work hard, uh, to be the main breadwinner. And if we don't follow that, then we break the expectations that the financially successful have toward us and if anything that keeps us back from really being used by God you know because here God is wanting to get the world out of us and any trace of the world so it's a constant walk with him in order for him to pinpoint those areas in our lives in which holds us back from you know fully following him because there's woundedness, there's issues that we've, you know, had, you know, growing up in the family that, you know, keeps us down, keeps us, you know, weighed down by the, the things of this world. And so I think that's what really hurts us as men, you know, because we have it in our minds to be financially successful, to be a good provider. And when we don't follow, you know, that those set patterns by, you know, laid out by the generations before us, then we're going to get persecuted by those generations. It's like an example I gave plenty of times in other videos where, let's say... Excuse me. Let's say uh, maybe you've done laundry and you fold clothes a certain way. Maybe you were taught to fold clo uh, clothes a certain way, the towels and such, and that had been passed down to you, you know, generation after generation. Well, let's say that your kid, you know gets into a job and they learn to fold a different way and so they start folding that way well the 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 generations before will probably persecute that change they're saying hey why are you folding it that way why don't you fold it the way that you know we have always folded so similarly you know when you desire to truly follow God then, and you move out of that pattern that this world has set, then people are going to persecute you. They're going to criticize you and, you know, treat you as if you're um, disobedient, uh, financially irresponsible, and such. And if you listen to that, you listen to their criticisms, the criticisms only more or less puts you back into that place of tyranny. And so, you know, learning that God is my source, I mean, it's still a process of getting that old thinking out. You know, if people are struggling financially, they resort back to, you know, the patterns that they have learned. You know, and I, I've had to deal with that. Let, let's say I had a, had a bill due. Well, you, you tr you, you're, you're tempted into getting back into that place where you're worrying again and you're doing what you can, you know, to pay it. When you know God has already come through in the past for your needs. Now, I'm not saying that if you have a job, right, that you don't pay the bills. Well, you're going to pay the bills, of course. But let's say that you have a bill that's due 
and the weight of it is so heavy that you're not able to take care of it. You know, that's when, you know, we look to God and he's, you know, he steps in and he comes through for us. So that's, that's been the, uh, the pattern, you know, that I have tried to follow. And with these books that I had wrote, it's something that I really wanted to pursue by, you know, leading people into trusting him, you know, and it's not an easy road when you truly desire to see God as your provider, you know, there's always going to be, you know, people that are going to come against it, and I've had my fair share of critical people that, you know, criticize me as if, you know, that's what I needed to move back into that tyranny again. As if their criticism is going to help me. And these kind of people that are, criti you know, critical towards you, they don't do anything to help you. They just want to criticize and have something against you. And I have, you know, I've dealt with that, you know, being criticized constantly not only by family members, but, you know, people that my wife has heard, people my wife has, you know, done hair for and stuff like that. And you start to get hardened to it as if it doesn't bother you anymore because you're used to it, you know. And these people that are critical towards you, there's no sense of trying to, you know, tell them that, Hey, this is what God has done for me. You know, this is what I've learned from him. But it's not going to do any good. Because all they're there for is just to criticize you and to tear you down. So, it's really moving out of that cultural, you know, society... Culture that society has brought upon where, you know, man is the main provider, man is the source, and that's it. Period. And that's the reason why I had wrote those books is to really encourage people that, yeah, I know what it's like being in that place where, you know, you're waiting for God to come through and you're tempted into taking care of the matter yourself. You know, and that's, that's normal, but it's moving out of that place where you're not going to let the flesh get ahead. You're not going to listen to the enemy where he's trying to tell you, you need to take care of it yourself because he wants you to take care of it yourself. Because if you do that, that means that you're not seeing God as your source and the enemy has you. So, you know, you, you got to to feed his words with truth, you know, and even if you haven't started your own faith walk, I mean, look at, look to others in which God has come through for them and let that be grounds in your own life to, you know, start your own faith walk. So really it's moving out of that, that place that culture has put you in. It's just one of many lists of things that you've got to conquer in order to be free. Because look at it that look at it this way. In the on each of us there is bags of burdens that we have carried our entire lives that we have learned of, that we were taught, that people have put on us. So with every revelation of what God has done and what God can do in our lives cuts those, each of those bags off, making us free from the issues. So I just wanted to share that with you. I mean, in your own life, you may be dealing with the same thing. So, you know, allow God to free you from each of the burdens. So I'm going to end here. Thanks for taking the time to watch